Hi everyone, I'm Wendy. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video where I show you a little bit of my daily life and routine. Today I started with a morning walk and I love it this time of year when the morning temperatures are a little cool and the sunrises are gorgeous. My little camera can't quite capture the beauty. A few leaves are starting to change color and fall so autumn is officially here. After my walk, I came in and did a little bit of what I like to call hang time. I've been trying to remember to do this because I want to build up my grip strength and my upper body strength. So I literally just hang from my pull-up bar, and then I'll do some shoulder shrugs and some knee tucks. Years ago, I used to teach aerial fabric classes. Now I just have a small indoor rig that I use at home for conditioning, and I've showed this a couple times on some of my previous What I Eat in a Day videos but I can't remember the last time I did any aerial conditioning. I think it's been at least six months or maybe even a year. So I'm gonna see how much energy I have by the end of the day and I might try to fit an aerial workout in. But for now, it's a work day, so I'm gonna get my breakfast ready and prep my lunch and then get to work. Even though I work from home, I like to prep my lunch ahead of time so that I don't have to waste any of my lunch hour getting my food ready, I can just eat. And sometimes I don't even clock out for lunch because my work schedule is pretty flexible and if I don't clock out for lunch, I'm able to clock out a little earlier at the end of the day. So this way my lunch is already ready for me to just grab and eat. Today I'm making a big salad. I'm starting with a bed of greens, then I'm adding a little bit of red cabbage, some cucumbers and celery, and then I'm adding some carrot. Usually I would just chop this up, but I wanted shredded carrot today, so I'm using a box grater. I also have this really pretty purple bell pepper. I got this in my local CSA. It's an heirloom variety that basically tastes like a green pepper, but it has a pretty purple skin. And on the inside, it's green. I also love to put a little bit of onion on my salads, and today I'm topping it off with kidney beans. I'll just cover this with a plate and put it in the fridge so I can grab it later, add some dressing, and it's ready to go. But when I was putting this away, I realized I had a little bit of tomato that I also wanted to add to the salad, so I threw that on there and then put it back in the fridge. After that, I'll get my breakfast. As usual, I'm having my batch cooked oatmeal with blueberries. I've shared it many times before, but my oatmeal is made with steel cut oats that I cook in my Instant Pot, and then once they're done cooking, I add some pumpkin pie spice, and usually I add a couple of chopped dates, but yesterday when I made this, I decided to add currants instead. I also like to add a can of pumpkin. So I mix that up and then I have that ready for four or five days. So I'll warm that up with some frozen blueberries and then I'm gonna make a smoothie. Today I'm making a chocolate orange cauliflower smoothie. Did any of you ever have those chocolate oranges? It was something my mom used to give us at Christmas and I just thought it was the coolest thing because it actually sort of looked like an orange. You would bust it open and it broke into little orange slices. I haven't had one in a really long time. I'm pretty sure they're not vegan. And even if they are, I don't really eat candy like that anymore. But I still love that chocolate orange combination. So for this smoothie, I have cauliflower, frozen banana, and then I have some slices of clementine that I froze. I'm adding mostly water and just a little bit of soy milk to blend this. And of course we need the chocolate flavor. I use carob powder because caffeine makes me jittery, so I try to avoid chocolate. I'm adding some ground flaxseed to my oatmeal and my breakfast is ready. After I enjoy this, it'll be time to get to work. I work from home and most of my job involves reviewing documents and updating paperwork. So it's a lot of staring at a computer screen. Even though it doesn't sound like the most exciting, I actually really love my job. I work for a great company and I'm really good at detail oriented work. And as you can see, I have a standing desk. I like to stand while I work because it just keeps me more energized. And then after a few hours, I'll get that lunch that I prepared earlier. To my salad, I'm adding a homemade salad dressing that I made out of lemon juice, balsamic vinegar, mustard, and some spices. I think I used garlic and onion powder, dill, and parsley. I'm also adding some hemp seeds on top, and I'm gonna eat this with some twice-baked potatoes. I made this a long time ago, but didn't actually come up with a recipe. Usually when I cook, I just throw things together and I don't really pay attention to amounts but it ended up being really tasty and I wanted to share it with you all. So I decided to try to recreate it and come up with an actual recipe. So I was working on the recipe the other day and I'm gonna have some of these to go along with my salad. So I'm gonna eat my lunch and get back to work and I'll check in with you this afternoon. After I finished eating all of this, I wanted something a little sweet. So I toasted a couple pieces of Ezekiel bread and I'm gonna put a little bit of strawberry jam on it. They're basically just made out of fruit and juices and they're absolutely delicious. After work, I decided to do an aerial workout. 
But first, I needed to warm up. Aerial is a full body exercise, so it's important to warm up from head to toe. Grip strength and shoulder warm ups are particularly important, but core and lower body warm ups are important as well. So I like to do a yoga inspired warm up. I start with some sun salutations, and from there I add on, combining lunges with forearm warm ups before I move on to core and lower body. Then I do some planks and different shoulder exercises. I also like to incorporate some Pilates exercises because this is really great for the core. After a good 15 minutes of warm up, I'm ready to go. Like I mentioned this morning, I haven't done an aerial workout in a really long time. I honestly can't even remember how long ago it was. So I definitely need to take it slow so I don't injure myself. I'm starting with an exercise called shoulder shrugs, and then I'm doing some tucks. From there, I progress to some different inversion exercises, and I was feeling pretty good, but I definitely have lost some of my strength. When it comes to aerial, it's definitely a use it or lose it kind of a situation. You can't expect to maintain your core and upper body strength if you don't practice regularly. I was happy that I was still able to do one of my favorite and most challenging exercises. It's called the hip key. They weren't the prettiest ever, but at least I was able to get through it. And I ended with another one of my favorite poses called cross back straddle. I might have pushed myself a little bit too much with this one. I think I strained my back a little bit. That's why it's so important to take it slow when you're getting back to any kind of activity that you haven't done in a while. So after that, I cooled down and stretched out my body before I got my dinner. For dinner, I'm having leftovers of an Indian inspired recipe that I shared recently. I'll put a link for that video in case you want to see the recipe. But basically, it has potatoes, chickpeas, tomatoes, and lots of spices. I also added in some brown rice, and then I'm having that along with some steamed broccoli, and I'm also throwing some slices of onion in there. I'll chop up some cilantro to go on top of my leftovers. Then for the broccoli, I'm just mixing together some mustard and balsamic vinegar. After I finish eating this, I'm going to try to relax for the rest of the evening. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed seeing my food and activities for the day, and I'll see you next time.